This past month, Google has quietly been rolling out with a wave of new AI tools that are nothing short but revolutionary, changing how we freely access and use AI. Just two weeks ago, we covered a hidden gem inside the Google AI Studio called the Gemini Coder where you can click on the build section and it opens up Google's AI's new builder along with a powerful coding assistant. This coding tool is rapidly helping you prototype apps using state-of-the-art Gemini models completely for free. It even supports tool calling, integrations, and more advanced capabilities. What's even more impressive is that it gives you access to the Gemini 2.5 Flash, aka the Nano Banana model. With it, you can instantly generate polished UI designs, leveraging the vision capabilities to create wireframes and app mockups with remarkable speed. But now Google also has a new hidden gem up its sleeve, an upgraded tool that is completely free and got a major round of new updates. This is the Gemini app where they have updated their canvas, which is quite impressive where you can rapidly prototype and build almost anything. For those who do not know what the Gemini app is, it's an all-in-one AI tool that lets you perform almost anything. Use the canvas to generate code to bring it to life with no coding required. You can do deep research. You can have live visualization of your code and so much more. It's essentially a powerful creative space for learning, building, and sharing with AI. And it has gotten a lot better since we had last made a video on it. This is a new prompt to prototype platform that they have evolved over the last couple of months. And having it powered by a model like a Gemini 2.5 Pro or even the Flash aka Nano Banana, you can get stunning visuals and mockups of beautiful UIs generated for your app completely for free. But now the Gemini canvas within the app has gotten many features and obviously this is something that you can access completely for free. But something notable that has been added is the select and ask feature. You can now visually edit any part of your web app without touching code. Just select an element and you can describe the change you want with plain natural language. And this is where it will allow you to see instant updates being made in the preview mode, making app building super easy with this new canvas update. But aside from that, there have been a lot of minor changes that makes this app builder even better. And this is why we're going to be taking a look at it throughout today's video. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now to get started, it is fairly simple. Just head over to the Gemini app, which I'll leave a link in the description below, and then just sign in with your Google account. If you don't have one, you can simply create one for free. And essentially, this is basically where you can simply go ahead and type in any natural language prompt to build anything. You can create images as well using the Nano Banana model. But if you want to build any sort of app or use the coder, just click on this and you're going to be able to build almost anything. So in this case, if I want to create something like make a website for my photography portfolio, I can click on this prompt and send it into the Gemini model it's using the Gemini 2.5 Pro completely for free. And it's going to be able to give you a live preview, a visualization of the code being written, and it's going to generate your app with the canvas, which you can access within the preview tab. And there we go. Just take a look at this. This is our new portfolio photography app, web app or website, you can say. And it actually generated all of these different images using the Nano Banana model, which is pretty impressive. So you can even filter through different images within your website. There's an about me page. There's also a get in touch section at the bottom. But overall, all of this was fully built using the canvas powered by the Gemini 2.5 Pro. But aside from all of this, we've all known about the canvas and what the Gemini app can do, where it can generate code for you, and then you can easily download this and access it completely for free. But not a lot of people know about the new features that have been implemented through the canvas. This is where within this canvas over here on the bottom right, you'll see this small little feature tab, where if you click on the add Gemini feature, if you click on this, this will prompt you to add different Gemini features that will help you design and add new functionalities to your app autonomously. So rather than describing what you want to add, 
you can just simply click on this button and it's going to be able to add specific Gemini features that enhances your overall app. Maybe it is an AI bio generator or an art director feedback. This is where when you view a photo, for example, within the gallery, you'll see a button to get feedback from an AI art director. And essentially right now it is adding these two new features based off of the AI Gemini feature tab. And overall, it's just going to essentially enhance your overall app autonomously by adding new features. And if you want to revert back to a previous update, you can definitely do so by just simply clicking on the previous version or the previous iteration. But now we can take a look at this. There have been a lot of new updates. For example, if you see there is the get art director feedback button that has been added as well as generate bio with AI, where you can provide a couple of keywords about your style. So something like, uh, I take landscape pictures. I can then have it generate a bio using the Gemini AI feature. So essentially this is a feature that can integrate AI directly within your app. Obviously it's best if you give it instructions on what sort of AI that you want to incorporate to your app rather than having it just randomly generate features, which is definitely something that they should add because adding something autonomously is obviously great and all, but if it's not something that aligns with what your app's vision is, it's definitely counterintuitive. So it's best if they maybe add a feature where you can describe what sort of features you want to add using AI. And that's something that you can actually do with the Google AI Studio Builder. But aside from this toolbar, there's also a new select and ask feature. This is where you can select any sort of element, a part of your app. So this get in touch section, I can basically highlight it. And then I can actually ask Gemini to implement a change. So I can say something like make this section better please. And then I can send in that prompt directly to the Gemini model to enhance that particular section rather than generating a full change across the overall app. This is where it's going to enhance the contact enhancement section. And we're going to be able to get new code being generated a part of that section. Next up, we're going to have it create a Minecraft clone. And simply, we're just going to see how well it is in terms of helping us prototype any sort of app, whether that's a game, or simply just a web app. And there we go. This is the Minecraft clone that I was able to generate. And it's pretty impressive, guys. This is where I can break different blocks. I can jump. I can even have it so that I can place different blocks. And it, I was able to generate all of this in a single shot. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's essentially it for today's video on the new Gemini Canvas update. There is a lot more to this, so I highly recommend that you take a look at it and make the most out of it because it's completely for free to access. Now, if you're running into rate limits, I definitely recommend that you then switch back to the Gemini AI app builder, which is also another tool that is free and it gives you more access to the AI models like Gemini 2.5 Pro or the 2.5 Flash. I'll leave all those links in the description below so that you can easily get started as well as the links to the previous videos on it. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter. And then lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.